What's up everybody? I hope you guys are doing absolutely awesome today. Today we are going to be making the cheapest TIG water cooler money can buy. And for starters, this is not my idea. Someone else has already done this. I'm just making a video on it to try to get it out there a little bit more. Um, I will write whoever the original guy who came up with this idea was in the description below. But like I said, not my idea. I just thought it was sweet and I just wanted to make a video on it. So for those of you that don't know, um, water cooled TIG torches are expensive on their own and then you also have to have a water cooler to cool it. However, those are also expensive. Like the cheapest one I could find was right around 200 to 250 dollars. That's just what I found. I'm sure there's probably cheaper ones out there. However, I had already bought the water cooled TIG torch. I just didn't want to spend the money on a TIG cooler for it. So what we did is we got ourselves a little aquarium pump. This was $14 at the local Harbor Freight and we got ourselves a two foot piece of 5 16th rubber fuel line. You guys can find any of this pretty much anywhere you go. Um, and then the only other thing we're going to need is a little container. The guy who originally made this video decided to use a five gallon bucket, so that's what I'm gonna try first. And if I like the style, like if it works fine and I like how it's working and performing, then I'm going to either get a different kind of tank or build my own little aluminum tank to go right on this shelf here. So, for starters, let's get the old torch unhooked from the current TIG welder. Easy peasy. All right guys, so we got our bucket of water. I didn't even need to fill it all the way to the top. I don't really see the point. I'm not gonna be welding a ton with it. Um, and so right now I'm just getting the TIG torch unwrapped here. I have never even used this torch. I bought it like a year ago and then hadn't wanted to, sp and then I hadn't been wanting to spend the $250 or $200 on a TIG cooler for it, so. It's just been sitting. So now we're finally gonna be able to actually use it, which will be nice. That little gas line right there is a pain in the behind to get on. Golly. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get our torch set up here. Right now I'm just trying to get all of, like the uh, twists and stuff out of it before I start putting stuff on it. Also, my cousin showed me this. This is a little container that a thing of scotch electrical tape came in. That Super 33 stuff that's awesome. And it makes for a really good little TIG consumable kit. So if you ever need something to hold your little TIG parts and on the go, these work awesome. I highly recommend it. Alrighty guys, so we got our TIG torch all set up here, and I'm gonna go ahead and weld some regular steel with it first to see how that does compared to the other one. Um, but first, let me tell you a little story real quick. So, I don't know if you guys have seen it in my other videos, but my welder is a little AHP Alpha TIG 225XI. It's a cheap, affordable little TIG welder that can do aluminum and steel is what I wanted. Um, if I really need to do any serious, serious welding, I can always take it to my the shop that I work at. And I, my boss typically doesn't have a problem with me using some of his equipment for my personal stuff, which is really nice. Um, but regardless, I had bought that welder a little while ago, or probably about a year ago now, and they had at first sent me the wrong torch. This isn't the torch that's supposed to come with it. Um, this thing's only rated for like 80 amps or something. It's not very much at all. So, and to be honest, I don't really like this style of torch very much anyways. I, I really prefer just the regular torch. I mean, it's nice and light. It's super light, but it gets hot really, really fast. I mean, real fast. Like, I can be welding 
on a piece of steel at 75 amps, which isn't very much, and it gets hot really quickly. Needless to say, I and I got in contact with them, and they told me they'd send me the right torch, but it probably wouldn't be enough for two weeks. And I had just gotten the welder, and I was like, you know what, screw it, I'll just make do. I want to get a water cold torch for it anyhow, whatever. So that's what I ended up doing, but I've been stuck using this torch for a year now, and it's not necessarily a bad torch, like it's not broken or anything, it just gets hot too easily. So that's when I bought the water cooled one. But I had not wanted to spend the money, I'd already bought the water cooled torch for $250, and I hadn't wanted to spend the extra $200, $250 on a TIG cooler for the thing. So I just kept using that one. So I'm hoping that this bucket cooler here will be a massive improvement from the air-cooled torch. I don't really need it to be like ice cold to the touch, um, but I just want it to be cooler than what it had been being. So enough talk, let's get into it. Guys, it wasn't as bad on regular steel, like the old torch, as it was on aluminum, of course, but that makes sense. Aluminum welding is always typically hotter than uh, regular steel. This piece of metal isn't very clean, so we're just going to uh, gonna go for it. Like the old torch, I couldn't typically hold it like this. This is how I like to hold my torch. Forgot I had this thing turned down way low. I was Last time I welded with it, I was doing the muffler mod on the 572 that I showed you guys. Crank her up a little bit. That should be. Guys, I've been looking at the wireless pedal um, that Nova makes for this thing. Because my boss has a Dynasty 400 by Miller, and he's got the, that wireless pedal that they make. That thing is sweet. Well guys, it's already doing better than my other torch. I mean, this thing's still perfectly cool. The water coming out of the end is a little warm. So it's working, guys. I mean, it's, it's actually working really nice. And that's not exactly a huge well. It wasn't a ton of heat, but it works, you know? It definitely does better than a regular air cool torch does. Let me try it on the other side. Guys, the body of the torch is actually still totally cool to the touch. I mean, the back cap and the 
Um, cup is a little warm, but that's totally normal. So guys, it's working. It's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. So that's really, uh, that's really nice. Alrighty guys, so it worked great on steel. No problems there. Now we're going to do aluminum. And this will be the rear, this will, now we're going to do aluminum and it'll be the real test for it because aluminum typically has to be hotter than steel. Well, well not necessarily like metal on metal temperature. For the people who are welders, they know what I mean. I'm not even going to clean this stuff off that well because I really don't need to. This stuff isn't that important. It's literally just to test this much. And look, water cooler, sorry. Alright guys, I'm actually going to clean it off a little bit here because um, it is a little dirty for my liking and I want a good test. Yeah.